Hello. Um, yeah. Today we are going to Scotland. It's a Friday morning. It's four o'clock, or it's almost four o'clock, four thirty. And we have our train from London's King's Cross to Edinburgh first, and then we are going to Inverness. So it's going to be an eight-hour journey, and we will have a new stop on the way. Um, and uh, I'm very tired and we had to cook in the morning and we packed our bags, everything the night before. Um, but I'm also excited because I haven't taken a, I have only been taking great trips and I haven't taken a trip like this in a long time. Uh, it is a little bit cold, surprisingly it's morning, but it's not freezing. So fingers crossed, it's going to be a good trip. I have some work that I'm going to do on the train or maybe I'll just sleep uh, or read. Um, we'll see. But right now I'm very excited. Okay, bye. arrived at the King's Cross station. Surprisingly, we, are, we were very early. Uh, usually, I'm just running uh, last minute, but I have lately tried to not do it, have enough time to just relax. Otherwise, I get so anxious and I just trip or I just uh, forget some things. So, we got off early. We were here at like 5.15. We got some McDonald's. We were able to get some coffee, which is amazing. Although, I just cooked a bunch of wraps and I got some things. Uh, for the journey because we always get so hungry when while we are traveling but it's a good thing we are here we got a very nice seat and uh, we got a table so i'm gonna work some what on it that is what my plan was that's why i got my laptop but i don't know uh, i might just find myself being sleepy and i'll sleep but uh, we'll see <laughs> i'm very excited it's not too cold and i hope there's a little bit of sun when we are going from edinburgh to um, uh, Everness, uh, because the last time I went from Edinburgh to Fort Williams, it was amazing. It was a little bit of summer, it was August, and the highlands look really pretty when there is sun. So, I'm hoping uh, it's not too rainy today, but even then, um, it might be a very good experience. Um, I'm gonna hop on my train, eat something. I'm really hungry at 5 in the morning, uh, and I will see you guys uh, in Edinburgh. Yeah, bye. That's my sister doing the big girl stuff. So we have arrived there at Limbra Waverly Station and um, I've been to the station before so I know uh, somewhat about it thankfully. Uh, we have a train to Inverness now which will be at 10.33, it's around 10.10 10 right now. So we're just gonna wait for it and uh, yeah we are here and it has been a smooth journey so far fingers crossed i'm usually like so anxious when i'm traveling although i've traveled so much but i'm always always so anxious uh, especially with connecting trains like whether i miss it or not miss it but uh, thankfully it's gonna be all right and that is the uh, i think that's the end of uh, edinburgh journey i just left on the way i thought i'd do some work but i just slept and uh, it uh, was all right. Um, this is gonna be like a four and a half hour journey from here to Inverness, and it's going to be in Scott Trail. Uh, I'm hoping the views are going to be really good, although it's not sunny, uh, but we'll see. Okay, yeah.
just arrived at even as it is a very small station but it was like really pretty and the town itself looks very pretty thankfully there is no wind uh, it's cold but it's, there is no wind I was looking uh, where to go while I was on the train but I'm not sure uh, where uh, we will end up I'm gonna ask the hostel person to recommend us some places things we can do today and I really hope we can make uh, the most out of the day that is left We have arrived at this hostel. This is our hostel. Uh, it looks pretty tiny, but there is like a downstairs, and this is a private room. I think initially when I booked, I thought it's gonna be like a hostel, but it turned out to be a twin room. And uh, I'm just like really, really happy with the room. Uh, there are two beds here, and although it is in the attic, but it's right in front of the river Ness. This is the river Ness. I think that's why it's called Everness. Uh, but uh, you just look at it. I have already made plans to run on this trail. Uh, and then uh, we'll take a shower and get ready. But I think if I were to stay here, I will just stay here and I would just do nothing. Uh, this hostel is really good. Yeah, so this is me again and uh, i feel this hostel is a steel deal i hope everything goes well uh there's a shared bathroom but all of the people seem to be in their room and uh, i am looking forward to having a quiet day today because now this room has just set up the mood for me and uh, it's not too cold surprisingly it's very hot inside and uh, the owner of the hostel was very sweet as well we will see how it goes but uh, i'm gonna link uh, what hostel this is in the description box so if you are ever coming to Ivaness and if you're into staying at hostels uh but it was also very cheap so this is a steel deal and i would highly recommend you uh, stay here more updates uh on this vlog later on but for now i am just very happy with how it turned out First order of business here. I'm gonna finish my run today because I'm running a streak. I'm almost like 16 days in. So right in front of our hostel is this river. So what better place to run than uh, along the river? And I'm just gonna do that. I'm so excited. Uh, I think I'm gonna run more than I usually do. But even if I don't, uh, that's fine. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna show you guys how pretty it is. I mean, just look at it. I guess the camera is not doing justice to how pretty it looks, but I'm gonna run this way and I'll see how much I can do. Uh, so, see this. And this is where I also ran a little bit. I ran from here to the bridge, then I ran all the way there to that bridge. And I think there is a pretty sunset also happening. The good thing about this place is like our hostel is right on top of this river and it's such it's so serene and it's so quiet here it just feels like i am in switzerland or something but no i'm not but nevertheless it's just turning out to be a lovely day so far next we have this bookshop this was very you know uh recommended so uh, it's called leaky Bush bookshop and it looks pretty normal from outside but i'm excited to hop in and see why it was recommended so much so let's go with
Hello, so we are back at the hostel. We were very tired. We walked so much. It was cold, um, but we had a nice dinner and um, I took a shower. It was really, really cold. So I, we just want to chill in our hostel. And let me let me show you guys how, how the hostel looks like. Um, so this is the lounge area, right? I already showed the room, but this like lounge area. There's also like fireplace running or everywhere in the highlands i've seen people do this which is very cool and they are real logs so this is where uh you can sit and eat and then they also have like a nice kitchen uh <laughs> it's very clean and everything is provided you can cook you can use all the cups there are uh, things to make coffee in the morning you can have your toast done and everything and then also they have this little uh, seating area or like a workplace where you can during the day you can sit and then you can look outside the window and you can work they also have like spare luggage place where if you're leaving uh, if you're checking out and you still need to keep your luggage you can keep it here so overall i feel this has very you know rustic and um, kind of very in-ish vibes and we're just gonna uh, enjoy our times here in the hostel uh and we we, we are uh ending the night with uh, a cider and some mac and cheese that we heated in the microwave we have so many snacks up in our room but we are feeling very tired so probably we'll sleep off and it's only like 8 30 but uh, we have been traveling a lot and tomorrow we'll travel more so yeah, it, overall, it was very, very, very nice day. A uh, little tiring, but nevertheless, traveling is always tiring. So uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So we have checked out from our hostel now. The checkout was at 11. And uh, to be honest, we didn't really wanted to leave the hostel. We were all cozied up in our beds. And uh, we initially decided to go and take a bus early morning from... Uh, Evenness to uh, Evenness Station. This is the uh, like central city to um, maybe Doris Beach, where you can see Loch, Lama Loch Ness, not Loch Lomond. Um, but it was too early for us, and the next bus was uh, again pretty late. And we have a train from Evenness to Edinburgh at around 12:30, so we couldn't find any options to come back. I think one thing that I found was it's way way uh, easier to go around the. Um, go around uh, the different places in lock uh, around the Loch Ness uh, if you are coming by a car uh, the public transport is not really good having said that we are just gonna sightsee around the city and uh, walk around the river Ness to Ness Island now it's like a 15 minutes walk from here to there and we did enjoy our stay nevertheless uh, we are taking it slow and we are gonna have fun in uh, Edinburgh off to the next destination now